Hi there. My name is Tim Hegarty. I'll be your instructor to the C programming course from VTC. Welcome. We're going to be taking a look at the C language and how to use the C language on Windows, the Windows platform, and on Linux. We will be using the Kernighan and Ritchie, or Kernahan, I should say, the G is silent, Kernahan and Ritchie C programming language book that you see down there in the right corner of the screen. I gave you the ISBN number so that you can look up the book easily at your favorite online bookseller or go to a, a real brick and mortar bookstore, take a look around and find uh, Kernahan and Ritchie, more commonly known as K&R. We will use it as our guide. K&R is, though, a C programming reference. There are small tutorial sections in it that we'll take a look at but it does not really tend to want to teach you C. That's what I'm here for. I'll be teaching you C and we'll use K&R, which is the only book that you will ever need about C programming to really program in the C language. Like I said, we will be doing C on Windows and uh, some on Linux. Uh, this is not a C++ or a C Sharp course, just so you know that up front. You will be able to use what you learn in C and about programming in this course if you decide to go on and learn more about the object-oriented or architecture of C++ or onto uh, C Sharp and its uh, particular environment. We will install a C compiler on a Windows platform and a Linux platform. We will be using uh, Microsoft's uh, Visual C++ 2005 Express Edition, and even though it's created for C++, it will compile our C code and our samples just fine. Uh, same thing with the GNU, GNU's not Unix, C++ uh, compiler. We'll make sure that you have it installed properly and updated with the right libraries so you can use it on your uh, Linux system. We will be looking at the process of programming uh, what has to happen if you're going to become uh, any kind of programmer and how to work with the C compiler, how to compile your thoughts into a language and then actually into an executable program. We will look at C data types, operators, expressions, and the expressions are just uh, our data types mixed with operators that give us results. We'll see how to control uh, the flow of a program uh, how to make it branch in different directions based on things happening or not happening. We'll see how to use uh, functions uh, for some structure in our program so we don't just have what's called a top-down design where it just starts at the top and keeps going. We will uh, use uh, functions to call a back and forth and, and return information and send information. We will use pointers and arrays and arrays of pointers and arrays of arrays. It sounds a little confusing, but I think when we build a nice foundation and uh, build from the bottom up, that you'll have a very good understanding of pointers and arrays by the time we're done with that section. We will be looking at how to use structures. Structures are very powerful, and it's how we commonly think of information. Uh, a structure like an entry on a mailing list has a name and an address and city, state, and zip, and all of those are different sizes and and types of information and we'll put those together into a single structure. We'll look at input and output. Doesn't do a lot of good for your program to just sit there and not talk to the outside world. So we'll show how to get information into the program and how to get it back out again. We'll take a look at using C on the World Wide Web with the Common Gateway Interface or CGI. You'll be able to create a form and load it up uh, on your web server and then view it in your browser, put information into the form, and get that information into your program, your C program, and then get a result, a reply from your C program back out to the internet and back out to your web browser. And we will take a look at uh, common files on the server or on the computer that you've written your C program so that you can open a file, you'll be able to read files, write files, and what we call seek to any place within the file that you want to. Now C itself is pretty small. There's not a lot of reserved words and it's kind of like the alphabet. There's a lot of small pieces to C 
but they can be combined in some very interesting ways in words and entire books. And that's what we're going to do is look at the standard library of functions that have already been created for us so that we don't have to reinvent the wheel to do just some standard operations. So let's get started. Uh, keep on clicking into our next video and we will go and make sure that we can actually load and compile a program in our own C compiler.